Right, question 20, we're almost at the end of this paper. So uh, we've got another problem for the question. It says that Asmol uh, rolls a bias dice and spins a biased coin. The problem if he gets ahead is 0.55. So on the coin, the probability of getting ahead is 0.55, right? So therefore, the probability of getting a tail, because there are only two options on the coin, is going to be 0.45. Um, the probability that the reverse will land on the six and the coin of the coin will land on the head, so a combined one is 0.11. So the probability of getting a six then a head is 0.11. Well, we're going to need that in a second, but that doesn't help us find out what the probability of getting a six on its own is. That's what we don't know. X. We need to work out the probability that the reverse will land on the six and then it will land on the tails. So, well, that's easy. We're going to combine these two together, but we need to work out what this one is first. So, the probability of getting a six and then a head is the probability of getting a six, which is going to be the probability of getting a six, multiplied by the probability of getting a head. So the probability, uh, and we know this answer, is 0.11. And the property getting 6 we don't know is x. The property getting ahead is 0.55. So we need to rearrange this. So I'm going to divide this answer by 0.55. Divide by 0.55. And that's going to give me one fifth. Okay? So that tells me x is one fifth. So the probability of getting a 6 is greater than a 6 because it's a biased dice. So this is now 1 over 5. I want to work out the probability that I'm going to, the dice will land on a 6, probably getting a 6, and probably getting a tails. Well, that's the probability of getting a 6 multiplied by the probability of getting a tails. And we now have both of these answers, probably getting a 6. Is a fifth. Probably getting a tails is 0.45. You can do this with or without calculator. So we know that this is really one fifth. We know this is nine twentieths. You can just type it your calculator if you don't trust me. So we know this is really nine over a hundred, which means that we've just got the probability of. Getting a six and then a tail is 0 